Yeah, we outside. We in my favorite spot in the city with the nigga bundles, nigga. You already know I'm fresh to death like the outfit passed away. You know how I do it. Keep a mean polies on. Nice little BB action and all that. Get your shit up, nigga. Get now, now get the belt action. Get the belt action. Get your shit up, nigga. You see how I'm out here. I'm living that life, nigga. That fast life, that rock star lifestyle and all that, nigga. Bundles. We outside of Vinny's. One of my favorite spots and shit. When I'm running around shopping, do the things I like to do. Basically, Stack Bundles a nigga out of Farrakh. They basically made it pop. Young Have Lot, the hung with the Have Nots, and I'm on Crack Rock and popping the cell block. I know the story. Um, basically, I was grinding. Shout out to Lupe Fiasco. It's my nigga. He really taught me a lot about the music shit or whatever. That's the first company I was signed with, first and 15th Arista. It didn't work out because it was so far. I was in Chicago. I'm a New York nigga and shit. So I came back home, got it popping, tore the streets up with the mixtapes and shit, started fucking with Clue. Because Clue was owning the mixtape at one, at one time and shit like that. Yeah, that's my nigga. That's my nigga. Like, that's my nigga, my nigga. So when you listen to the album, everybody heard the shot. They feel like, yo, how you know? It's my nigga. He told me a lot. It's basically, everything I know about the music shit. Like, production wise, whatever. So I turned it up. Turned it up on the mixtape and shit. Clue fucking with a nigga hall. Had the de little desert storm situation. But nigga couldn't get no distribution. So, I'm still had the streets on fire, staying in the loop. I ran in the gym, we kept running into each other. You know me doing the things I do in the street, him running around, living a nightlife. And now it's history. Niggas turning it up. The boy album about to drop November 7th and shit. The streets gravitating to me like it's my album coming out and shit like that. They fucking with us hard right now. Oh, I mean, growing up with Farrakh, Farrakh is the epitome of the hood. Like, we got nothing. We ain't got a movie theater. We ain't got no malls, no nothing. Ain't nothing but guns and roses out there. So it is what it is. Like, what I'm doing is basically impossible. We ain't never had nothing. No basketball niggas. If you do your history, no football players. None of that shit. We ain't had nothing. So I'm like the great white hype. The fucking the, the, a new hope. So coming up with but like, like I was, like I was into, I was into some whole different shit. I tell you, no lies. Like, I was fucking with, I was fucking with Bone Thugs. I was fucking with Bone Thugs hard. I was fucking with like Onyx. Onyx did it. Like Onyx did it, did it, did it, did it. Like Onyx did it. Had a nigga going to school, dumping niggas on the head and everything. I'm a special ed nigga and all that too. So Onyx really did it. Onyx did it, stupid. Um, the Wu definitely did it. Like. The, the, we had some, I was on some whole other, some whole other shit, but definitely Onyx, The Wool, all that shit. Y'all hear what's playing right now, too. That's that life's like a movie. We're gonna get in that in a little bit. But, um, you said, though, um, still in the process of around with your music. Ultimately, where you trying to take it, you Man, you already know music's a stepping stone. You know, there's so many different branches, so many different doors that music opening up right now. So many different things, like music getting landed nigga on TV, landing clothing lines and everything. So when you see me, you can just look at it and tell it's going to be bigger than the music. You're looking at the nigga like, yo, he a star. What else could he do? I can't give you, can't give you the whole recipe to everything because then everybody else going to be trying to beat me there. But just pay attention and watch what's going on. Life's like a movie. Oh, so. I mean, like, Clue's still my nigga. Shout out to Clue and Desert Storm and all that. Basically, the whole situation was I signed a nine month agreement with Desert Storm. Nine month agreement. So we was heating up the streets and trying to get the deal. Like, basically, if y'all know how it go, you know, Clue's just a, just a production company, and then he go get distribution. He was caught in the loop, you know, he was so busy with him being an artist, because he's not only a DJ, he's an artist. Him being an artist, and then they got fab, and then whatever, whatever, whatever. So they really couldn't get a, a situation, the best situation that I needed. So after the after the contract was up, I just took my time to try to find my own situation. And I, a nigga, a nigga, a nigga grinded so hard for them. They, you know, they granted a nigga that like, hey, go live, whatever, whatever. And I found another situation. Talk about the alliance you formed with Bergen. Um, like it just, it just, it just fell in, the, it just fell in the place. Like Jim, Max is an incredible artist. Max some whole other shit. Max be some whole other shit. Like his rhythm and blues, he got some whole other, other lane and shit. Jim had the streets fuck with him. As, niggas fuck with the person. They gravitate to the person. Like the same way with me. When you meet me in the street, you realize, yo, that's the same nigga from the music. He really like that. He really, yo, yo, he really fly. Or, yo, he really with the goons. And yo, he really in far rock. He really got them two tones, them Porsches, them Benzes. Like that's really him. Before the music. And he ain't got no record deal. I fucks with him. And then when you ask about me in the hood, they say we really doing them things. We don't got to talk about that, but we really doing them things. You understand me? 
So like they gravitate to the person. Now when we all get together on music, it's real. Cause y'all really like I know Jim really doing that. I know Stack really like that. The marriage is just incredible. And the stars just happen to be in line to get me in that situation at the right time. Cause he's about to take off. Well, not about to, he's taking off. Like the flight the, the, the plane has took off. Talk about Riot game, man. I mean, Riot Squad, I mean, them just my niggas I came up with. Squad, right? yeah, the, yeah, the Riot, the Riot, man, them my niggas I came up with and shit like that. Ever since I've been doing the music, Vino and Core been there. Vino and Core, shout out to Chinks Drugs, he almost home. You always keep hearing it in records and shit like that, but you hear them on the records, the boys are problem. So basically, the Riot Squad just my niggas that I grew up with. We just spawn with each other, spawn with each other, spawn with each other. We get, basically got together the hottest young niggas in Farrakhan. Because if we wasn't together, we'd definitely be fighting over who owned the hood. Right. So it was only right just to put it together. Um, it originally was RRX, which was Red Fern's Riot Squad. That's, I'm from Red Fern, Vinyl from Edgeman, Core 2 G's from Gateway, Chase Drugs is from Cornega, New Haven rather. So originally it was Red Fern Riot Squad. But I was loving that scent, I was loving the name of that Red Fern Riot Squad. So I just took it and made RRX Rockaway Riot Squad. And then it, it, it became so much bigger than just Far Rockaway because the rest of the world started gravitating to it. We just left it right as far. So it is what it is. When you hear me screaming, I ain't trying to be like the New Orleans niggas. I'm just repping it. You know, I'm throwing it up, repping what I rep. And that's Riot Squad, nigga. When we throwing them all up, that's what that about. You know, superstar thing about it. Rap, rock star, trap star. I mean, all that. Um, I mean, like, I, I can't, I, man, I'm, I'm just a, man, I'm just, a, I'm just a hustler son, like, I'm a hustler son, like, my papa was already, always in the loop, always running around getting money and doing things that the niggas that get money like to do, if y'all get money, y'all understand what it is, y'all can look back on them old DVDs and shit, you see me hopping out with minks on, like, I, I, I does that. Like before Jim knew me as a rapper, like he seen me in the streets running around, young nigga, I'm not even supposed to be in a club yet, and I'm out here, and I'm doing them things. So I've been like, I was cutting school, going to Genesis and the Atrium, and running around. So I'm just, I just got the swag of a hustler, nigga to get money. When you see me, you, it, 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 it rub off, you see it like, he doing something. I don't know if he a rapper, but he look like he doing something. They look like they getting some money over there, let me fuck with them. Basically, nah, like the materialistic shit, niggas can live without it. We just do it to enjoy our lives. That's just some of the some of the fruits of the labor and shit like that. But basically, everything is my niggas. My niggas are my family. I couldn't live without it. Like, my niggas is what keep me grounded. Don't let my head get too big and keep me driven in these streets and keep me strong and, and, and focus on what it is that I'm supposed to do with my family and shit and trying to keep things in order. And trying to open up different opportunities for my hood that ain't never had nothing. So I understand, like basically the far rock, I'm what Nas was the QB or what Beans was the Philly. Like I'm that, I'm that, I'm that first thing to the forefront. You know, it stays different, but when you break down like the typical day in the life of, typical day in the life of, man, like my niggas keep a lot of pressure off me and shit like that. So I don't really focus on the numbers. Like I make a few false phone calls and that's that. Um, shout out to my niggas, M.A., Thug, uh, Light, Light, hold your head, my nigga. All my real niggas that do real things, I know what the fuck I'm talking about. Um, I mean, I wake up, I usually be going to the studio from like 11 to 3. I do my own studio sessions. Y'all get up on that. I do my own sessions. I do the own engineering. I'm in the booth, wireless keyboard, I does that. So one day I'm going to bring you out of the studio and fuck with me and show you how a real nigga grind, because I does that. From 3 to 11, I'm in the studio. I come back, maybe home, maybe like 5, I run around the hood and do what hood niggas do. We're going to leave it that like that. Then I get up with Jim and we might bang out from like 10 to 5 a.m. Every day, the same shit. Then I'm back up by 10, 11, do it to 3, back to the hood and do it all over again. That's every day. Y'all do the math. That's why when, when, when it's dropping consistently like that, when I drop the Benham Wall, then I come back with the Rise That Gang first CD, then Jim drop um, MOB, and I drop Rise That Gang Part 2, and then he dropped the Gangster Grill. Like, it's so much consistent. Don't forget about, oh yeah, the life, well, that was just a collect, that was just like a collection of the shit that I'm doing. Like, this is why so much music is being produced. I know y'all sitting at home like, what the fuck are they doing? Do these niggas ever sleep? Nah, we not sleeping, we grinding. Like we really grinding, and I ain't even I ain't even start putting in the loop the shit I'm working on for my album within all them different projects that's going on. What do you expect that album? 
I mean, you already know, like it ain't no date yet. So basically, Jim Jim album about to drop November seventh. After Jim album, it's gonna be the Bird Gang album, Life's Like a Movie. That's gonna be the first single over there. Stack bundles, Max B, Bell, Mel Murder, and Jim Jones. After the Bird Gang album, it's whoever catch fire the most. Like you know, the streets gravitate to the whole movement as a whole, so it's gonna be hard for them to pick individual entities. But whoever will fire the most gonna come next. So worst case scenario, y'all looking at the summer for me, man. Yo, I'm chilling with Cy Young, you know what it is, nigga. Riot gang, dipset, bird gang, nigga, you know how we do it. Cy Young, man, tastemaker.biz, internet fuck with me, because you know the streets fuck with me, nigga. Let's try to make a little crossover, get y'all in the loop. What up? Shit!